Well, we get retainers. Um, other. Okay, that's a bunch of lost stuff. More people are traveling through SeaTac Airport than ever before, and with that, more people are leaving behind their stuff. That's lost belongings. Yeah, you did a story about this. I did. Not too long ago, and you were successful. You found what you needed to find. My computer. All right. So, uh, the, of course, the folks at Lost and Found then stay very, very busy. Michelle Lee is there at SeaTac to tell us all about it. They're hard at work there. Now, this is right at SeaTac, not a specific airline, but the whole airport, right? This is the, the whole airport in this case. So we are here at Lost and Found. Not quite open just yet. If you um, are unfamiliar, this is right on the mezzanine level. But every month they collect more than 3,000 items. Can you believe that? Take a look uh, as people are going through the checkpoints. That's actually where a lot of people lose their stuff when they take off their jewelry and their watches and things like that. But every, uh, you know, the lost and found, they collect like maybe 250 items a day here and they help return nearly 45% of what actually comes to them. So it would be even higher, that rate would be even higher if it weren't for things like eyeglasses or clothing, you know, things that just can't be traced back to people. The YWCA actually manages the lost and found at the airport and the women here, you know, they tag and they keep track of every single item that comes in in a database. Uh, then they start making phone calls to pharmacies, schools, banks, employers. They also look up serial numbers and work with police to crack open some electronics so that they can find the owner. It's every day and that's what makes this job so fun too is it's rewarding. Um, when we reunite property you know with the owner they're happy and there's not a day that goes by we don't get a compliment online and that makes a big difference. And, uh, you know, this is also a pretty unique partnership between the port and the YWCA. It is a job training site for women who are re-entering the job market. And many of these women are overcoming adversity, like Lexi Cayetano, who was looking for a new opportunity. I've gained a lot of um, experience when it comes to, like, communication and um, working with people, computer work, because I've always been kind of, like, shyish, and it kind of forces you to, to be more open. So back live here, if you're looking through the checkpoint or as these people are going through, you know, just try to make sure that you are keeping your jewelry on you or put it in your bag before you go through. That's one piece of really good advice. Something also to note here is that Lost and Found only keeps items for 30 days and then they donate it to various charities in our area. But get this, some of the most uh, interesting things that they found, a prosthetic eye, uh, teeth, human ashes, all kinds of interesting things like that. We've posted a gallery, by the way, on our website if you want to check it out. We're live at SeaTac Airport. Michelle Lee, King 5 Mornings. Wow, Michelle, thank you, Michelle. Thanks. I don't mean to make fun, but how do you lose your eye? Yeah, you would think yeah. they would come back for that. <laughs> yeah, right?